Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers are advised that the following program contains images of people who have died. Hi, I'm Sunny and the woman who inspires me is Rosalie Kuhn of the Monks. But Mina says they hunt the crocodiles. She was born in 1937 in Armageri country in the Northern Territory. It's time for your music practice. She is probably best known for being the first Indigenous woman to have a lead role in a film. After the film's success, Rosalie devoted her life to Indigenous issues. She has worked with the Department for Aboriginal Affairs, ran Aboriginal Hostel Legal Aid and is a member of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Commission. I chose Rosalie because she inspires me to follow my dreams. Hey, I'm Richard and the woman who I'm inspired by is Fanny Crockham Smith. Fanny was a Palawa woman, born in 1834, two years after the Black War had ended, which had killed hundreds of Indigenous people. Between 1899 and 1903, she recorded songs on a wax cylinder in Tasmanian Indigenous language. These recordings are really important because many believe she is the last fluent speaker of Tasmanian's original Indigenous language. Fanny inspires me because without her there would be no evidence of any indigenous Tasmanian language. Hi, my name is Josh and the woman who inspires me is Gladys Elphick. She was born in Adelaide in 1904. She was a Ghana and a Nigerian woman. In 1965 she helped form the Aboriginal Women's Council. The council carried out a great deal of work for the Aboriginal community, including campaigning for the Yes vote in the 1967 referendum. It changed Australia's constitution so Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people were counted as citizens. Gladys inspires me because she worked so hard for the Aboriginal rights. Hi, I am Fraser, and the person I have chosen is Trukinini. Trugnini was a famous Tasmanian Aboriginal woman. Trugnini was born in 1812 when Palera people were at war with European settlers. To keep their people safe, Trugnini and her father convinced other Palera people to move to the settlement on Flinders Island. They were promised blankets, food, houses, and their custom would be respected. But instead, the island became a prison and many became sick and died. Trugnini and 45 other people who moved to another settlement on the mainland where conditions were even worse. Some say this made her strong again because she was the last of the group to survive. Trugnini inspires me to be strong and resilient. Hi, I'm Shanti. The person I look up to is Neva Paris, who was born in Darwin in 1971. She identifies with the Kaiga people of the East Kimberley, Yarra people of the West Kimberley, and Moran people of the West Island land. When Neva was 18, she went to Perth, determined to become a champion hockey player. And after several years of training really hard, she made it into the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta with the Aussie women's hockey team, the Hockey Roos, where she became the first Indigenous Australian to win a gold medal. The 25-year-old became the first Aborigine and Northern Territorian to win an Olympic gold medal as a member of the Australian women's hockey team at Atlanta. But in 2013, Nova made a massive career change and she became Australia's first Indigenous federal politician. Nova Paris inspires me to be an athlete like her. These are just a few of the women who changed Australia and made it better. And because of them, we can grow to be whoever we want to be. And hopefully inspire kids for the future. Happy Native Week!